the video section what we want to. I've just named it Awesome Videos. You know, once again, not putting a lot of thought into it. Going to change that later probably. And then you've got this selection again. Remember in the um, in the website area where I showed you where you could click on these and save these and add these videos into your video area just like you can your website area. And these can these are videos created by the company to help educate people about the smart media technologies opportunity. So, I mean, I've just chosen not to do that right now. I've got my own videos with call to action, so I'm using those. But, you know, again, very simple. And just like with the websites, you can create the category just like you would. And then, you know, you can upload the videos into the category. Now, what's different about this is if, say, if I create the category here, and then I can use the drop down and I can select what category that I want to upload the video into. So I don't have to actually open up the category like we did with the websites feature. We can just use the drop down, select the category we want the video to go into, give the video a title, okay? Give the video a description, upload the video, okay? Now you've got, in this section, you've got 200 metabytes of uh, material that you can actually upload, okay? So, you know, so you want to be careful about what you choose for this area. So, you know, you, you just, you find the file, again, d directly from your, the, the MP4, the AVI, the FLV right here. You can upload it directly from your computer, upload it into our servers, to the Smart Media Technology servers. Once the video generates, just like with YouTube, you're going to have a selection of thumbnails that you can choose and or you can upload a thumbnail for the video. Okay, and again, it's that 128 by 90 pixels that you have. So again, if you don't have any uh, images that size, just Google image resizing software uh, or Earthen View or Fastone or any of those. Those are really good ones that I use. And you can, you can resize your images or crop your images to this size or pretty close to this size. It'll stretch it or shrink it, you know, depending on what the system needs to do to make it work. And then once you do all that, you, once it's uploaded, you get the notification. Then you just click Add, and then it's there. And then you've got to go through and you've got to activate the video and everything to see it and everything. But still, very, very simple process. And then it'll, they'll be here the whole time. And again, these videos are on the dynamic bar. So... These travel wherever your free members travel. So, you know, all the content you want to give them will be stored in this dynamic bar. And and I want I hope people are starting to see the power of that. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're just a